I'm Joel Myrowitz, and I've been photographing for 50 years. I consider myself a street photographer, which means I like to be out in the everyday chaos of ordinary life and watch for things to show themselves to me. I never thought about photography as an art form or as something I was interested in doing. In 62, when I was working as a junior art director in a small Midtown Manhattan company, uh, I designed a booklet and, and my boss hired Robert Frank to shoot this booklet. And I went down and, and watched him execute this, the, the work for this book and it was amazing. He moved and photographed and it was all so physical and balletic and magical because I, I thought you had to say hold that pose and I was so bowled over by it that when I left the shooting I was out on the street everything I saw on the street taxi you know hello goodbye everything seemed to have meaning to it and by the time I got back to my office I I said to my boss I'm quitting because I want to be a photographer they think of photography as pictures and and it is but I think of photography as ideas and do the pictures sustain your ideas, or are they just good pictures? I'm not that interested in making more good pictures. I want to have a, an experience in the world that is a, a deepening experience, that, that makes me feel alive and awake and conscious. Being um, an artist, I learned using a Leica on the streets. It taught me to understand human nature. It's engaged my curiosity with the, the world and the meaning that comes out of the world. It's really been an instrument of my education and my development as an artist. When 9-11 happened, I wasn't in New York City. I was up on Cape Cod photographing, actually, out that morning, early. And my wife called and said, you got to get to a television set. There's something crazy going on in New York. And I watched as the second plane crashed and as the building started to fall. And then I got back to New York. And the first thing I did, we unpacked the car. I, I walked down right to the edge of Ground Zero at Chambers and Greenwich Street. And because I'm me, I raised the camera to my eye just to kind of take a look to see what was there. And as soon as I did it, somebody behind me punched me on my shoulder. And I turn around and it was a lady cop. And she says, no photographs, buddy. This is a crime scene. I said, suppose I was the press. What would you do then? And she laughed in my face and she said, the press, take a look. And she went like that and up the street was the press corps. And I said, well, when are they going in? She said, never, I told you. It's a crime scene. Mayor Giuliani says, no photographs allowed. And I immediately thought, they're not going in. It's a crime scene. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna make the historic record and give it to the city of New York. I, I managed to call a friend who was a commissioner of parks in New York and I said, he knows me for, since he was a kid. I said, Adrian, you know, I'm a straight arrow. This is what I wanna do. Who do you know in the government that could help me? And he said, Joel, I am the government. And, uh, and he gave me a worker's pass and I went in and I stayed in for nine months. And I used the Leica and a four by five camera and a uh, six by seven because I was by myself every day and I needed something that could get quick things that happened immediately, Leica. Things that were slower, that I could study more, I used the 4x5 because I wanted to make the document the most precise document so that when we blow up the pictures to 10 feet or 12 feet, they have the kind of authenticity that makes you feel it in your gut that you're standing in front of a facsimile of this.